Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our uh, training series where we prepare for Elastic Cert Certified Observability Engineer exam. And uh, today we're gonna start with a new topic which is APM or uh, Application Performance Monitoring. We will start with the first topic where we're gonna see the different um, features in APM and uh, how we can use APM to analyze and answer questions about uh, APM data collected in uh, Elasticsearch. Right. With that being said, let's uh, jump to uh, our environment. So the first thing that I want to, uh, to highlight or mention here, as you can see, the first topic is how to use APM. Mean they will not ask you to deploy uh, APM agent or APM server. You will find uh, the APM or the application performance monitoring uh, data there directly in, uh, in the observability app. So you don't need um, to do the deployment and the configuration by yourself, right? Uh, for the for the preparation, please follow the video. Uh, you don't need to do the deployment, and I try to go uh, all through the different features in uh, APM. Let's jump to our environment, but or uh, before, let's see uh, in uh, the documentation. Uh, another, uh, like I keep repeating, uh, during the exam, you will uh, get an access to the uh, official documentation of Elastic. So please. Uh, uh, get comfortable with the documentation and know where you find uh, whatever you are looking for, right? So if we here, like uh, if we go to uh, to the uh, official documentation and you go to observability, here you find everything related to the uh, to the um, uh, to the uh, APM. So APM is the uh, short for Application Performance Monitoring. It's uh, it's an app without uh, within Elastic that uh, help you to get visibility on what happened exactly on your uh, application. You will see all the transactions, uh, everything. So as we can see here, uh, we have multiple applications here. So we have .NET, Ruby, Java, Python, uh, GS, and so on and so forth. For almost all the uh, programming languages, and you mean like all kind of platform and application, you can do the integration easily with Elastic. Um, it's different, it's not the same, let's say, from .NET to Ruby. Um, like, you have to follow the documentation to see the steps. Like, if you want, if you have a Ruby application, it's not the same configuration that you need to do with the .NET, right? Uh, yeah, with that being said, let's jump to uh, our uh, environment. So, you click on the menu, you go to observability. If you scroll down, uh, this is an updated version. It's a little bit... Uh, different than the 8.8, .8, but by the end of the day, it's the same uh, feature, same application. So you go here and you will find the same, the same thing. So this is the first page or the first feature. So in the services, you will ha you will find all the services uh, by name, and here you will, sorry, you will have uh, here for example the environment. If you have one or multiple environment, then you can uh, group or you can find the environment here. Here the latency uh, by average. So here uh, by milliseconds, like the latency, uh, the throughput, and here um, uh, we have uh, we have a fair transaction rate, right? Um, we can see the services like this, or if we sorry, if we click here on the map, we will also see uh, the map. Of the uh, of the services, give it okay. Let me just uh, make it last twenty four hour or last fifteen, maybe fifteen minutes will be better. Yeah, perfect. Let me turn off this one. Perfect. So here, uh, as you can see, this is the the map of our service. So we have GS in the uh, in the front end. Uh, we have um, we have Java. As you can see, we have Elasticsearch. We have Ruby or Redis. Sorry, we have. .NET, like multiple applications is here. If you want to dig, like if you want to see, for example, Java, you can just click here from the map. Let me take it, like you click here, you get an overview. If you want to see uh, the services inside the, uh, this uh, Java application, then you click on the service like this, or you can from here, from the inventory, you have Java and you click and you get the um, you get the details uh, or the uh, overview of this uh, this application, right? So as you can see, here's Java. We see Kubernetes and we see uh, GCP. And here, let me just turn off the light. Yeah, that's... 
help my eyes um, so here for the uh, transactions so you uh, you you will get a better or you get detailed version uh, uh, information about your uh, your service so here this is the latency you can sort the latency by percentile like here if you if you want just to see more than uh, 90, uh, 95 or 99 or you keep the average and here you will uh, get uh, you you will get uh, an overview uh, here the throughput is the same here the transactions we will go in uh, details we can see the transactions from here or we click uh, from here to redirect us to uh, to to here uh, this is uh, the failed rate so as you can see here we have almost zero percent mean um, uh, it's uh, it's doing good there is few errors that we can see from here uh, on the right so we have a error if you want to expand like to see uh, the error like you can click and it will redirect us to the uh, to the error but let's stay with the, with the overview we will go uh, on uh, uh, one by one so we have time spent by spam by spam type right so we have up we have custom and here is the percentage and here also we have uh, depend, uh, dependencies so it's the same uh, from here the dependencies and here um, the uh, instance la la uh, latency uh, distribution so here also you will get an overview and finally you have also uh, the uh, instance right so here we have one instance if we have multiple then we're gonna we're gonna see multiple instances and also it's clickable so if you click it will redirect us to the matrix of this uh, of this instance which is here is uh, gvm or java virtual machine we will get the matrix let's um now okay that's uh, that's clear it's the same let's return back so if we choose another uh, another uh, another app let's go for example here python or let's let's pick something else let's go with uh, where is uh, one second I will go maybe with the front end yeah here we go here you have transactions here you have the errors and the rates you have all the um, uh, all the thing like you want to see and for sure you can uh, you can um, create a rules or uh, generate alerts based on the uh, values that you have for latency for example or error or whatever so it's something like uh, let's say doable let's go back to our application so we want here so let's go now to the uh, transaction so we can see here a shortcut for transactions so here we have uh, some details but let's say you want to see more detail about this transaction so even you go here transactions and you get or or the same you come from here and you click on view transactions it will redirect to the same page and here the same if you want the search by the by the average or uh, more than 95 or 99 so the questions will be uh, based on what you see here uh, they will ask for example how many transactions you see or what's what's the name of the transactions uh, what's the what's the peak latency here for example or how many error what was the percentage of uh, failure transaction rate for the last 24 hour last seven days so it's like any other kind of question so you get the you get the question and you come here so if they ask about the transactions then you come like you have here multiple application you choose the application the right one and if they ask about the dependencies or the transactions then you choose the right one here for example the transactions and here if they specific request you specify it here if there is any filter or they like a node for example or uh, any kind of transaction or here uh, they are looking for the transactions that took more than 60 milliseconds or one one second or whatever like you can create a filter to help you to sort the uh, the results in a quicker way so here is doing a comparison as you can see so here we have data from the last seven days so it's uh is today data compared a week before so as you can see here uh, when i move you see two you see uh, the date right and you see the average and before week so here 
for example it's uh, the average is 93 and before like uh, same time last week it was 30 milliseconds the same here the same year so here you can compare it's kind of like you can't get an, a, a question about this point like what's the what's the average this week or this date comparing with uh, the same time last week or last two weeks or you can easily pick the question or the answer from here right uh, here the transactions which is uh, uh, like if we can if we want to uh, go more or get more details like here we get the uh, the uh, transaction the same the filter the request everything so you can you can filter from here the comparison between uh, this value and or uh, the value of now comparing last week same time and here you have the errors and here if you uh, if you see we have all the traces so this will help not only to get an idea on what happened but also it will help you to do let's say troubleshooting okay let me turn off this thing yeah so here so let's say we have this error right so as you can see here we see three errors Elasticsearch exception for example and you come here and you click on the view sorry let's go back and you can okay. let me come back so we was uh, here transaction we click on transaction and we have this transaction i don't know where we are let's go back from from java here we go and here we was in transactions right and here we choose this transaction and this transaction like we get a deeper view on what happened exactly and here we have for example here uh, a trace sample here we have latency correlation here failed transaction correlation and here a uni universal pooling so here for example if you want to get more detail on what happened you just click on the uh, on the error that you can see here you click and you get more and more details about this error that uh, not only will help you to answer the question during the exam but in your environment or if you want to uh, uh, to uh, um, to implement the APM, it will help you also to solve uh, this uh, these problems. So here the investigation. If you want to go, but uh, if you just prepare for the exam, they will I believe will not go deeper than this. Like uh, that, it, it will be just uh, on something let's say not basic but easy like to find. Like this is like uh, investigation. Like if you want to solve a problem, so you have to get comfortable first with your environment, then you will be able to do the investigation and fix the issue, right? So let's let's move quickly to other tabs. So we have dependencies. So we see here that this, uh, if you remember, in uh, in the map we see the Java. It's dependent on uh, uh, on Elasticsearch. So there is a connection here. So let's go back to uh, see here. So dependencies. So the same, this is Elasticsearch. If we click, it will redirect us to the, uh, to the uh, Elasticsearch and you, hear, you, will, you will get an overview about latency, throughput, and failed, failed rate. If we go back to our uh, uh, Java application, then we will see the same, right? Uh, errors, uh, here we have a rate or we have a occurrence of the, of the error per time. So here the um, the error or the current error comparing uh, a week before and here the failed transactions and here you will get <clears throat> let's say more details about sorry about each uh, each error so this uh, this table it show the type of uh, or the group id of the error the type and here you have the uh, error message right so if you uh, click you will go more deeper in the error right you will get all the thing related to this error um, here the trace from the uh, from uh, Elasticsearch here you see the uh, the error and so on and so forth maybe they will ask you to copy the error uh, or to I don't know to copy the exception message then whatever the question you have to make sure that you are comfortable with uh, with the environment and uh, it will be easy for you to find the answer. Metrics is the same related to, uh, since it's uh, Java, it's using GVM. So here you have a metric, uh, sorry, you have you have the metrics of this uh, uh, Java virtual machine. 
and the host name, the CPU, the hip size, hip memory, hip usage, uh, hip, uh, hip size, and and other other informations, right? So uh, here, CPU user, system memory, non-hip memory. So the same informations that you find here are here in the uh, in the graph, and you get all the details, right? So and you have to pay attention uh, for. Uh, for the time if they ask for specific date then you have to filter based on this specific filter or a uh, time range and also service and so on and so forth I, like you uh, process id you can uh, filter the uh, services or the metric or the gbms like you can create any uh, any filter here right uh, this is something in new service map it's uh, we are here and it's uh, like this depend on this logs the same like if we have any logs for this application then you find it here if we um, create any alert for this uh, let's say we create uh, alert for the GBM like if we see uh, the GBM or the uh, the hip size is more than uh, 85 or we create alert then we will get the alert or the notification here right uh and this is something both and you will not you will not find them in the uh, in the elastic uh, a.8 right i don't want to take too long in this video i hope you uh, learn and uh, get something new uh, from this video if you have any question please leave a comment in the uh, comment section i'll try my best to uh, to help and answer uh, with that being said i'll see you in the next video